Welcome back, everyone. I'm Matt. And I'm Chels. This Patreon request was brought to us by Sean. We are here for something completely different on our channel, something that has never been featured. We're going to have a country song on our channel. I've got nothing against country. Uh, I feel like a lot of it's a little contrived these days, if I'm to be honest. So I've kind of drifted away from country. Uh, we do live in Branson, Missouri, so country is a big part of the area we live in. I enjoy some 90s country. Right, There's right. There's some 90s country that I get down with. And I grew up listening to Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson. So I get down with like older, more outlaw country. Mm. So anyway, we're here for Oliver Anthony and the song Rich Men North of Richmond. I have seen in the news, we haven't listened to this or anything, but I have seen that this is popping off in the news. It's so controversial, according to uh, many news outlets. And we're going to see what's bothering everybody. Yeah, we are. Yeah. And check out the song. The official video link will be down below. Our links are down there as well. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, away we go. Oliver Anthony, Rich Men North of Richmond. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours. Instant chills. Bullshit pay. This so is country. I sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me. People like you wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men, North or Richmond, Lord knows they all just wanna have total control. Wanna know what you think, wanna know what you do, and they don't think you know, but I know that you do. Cause your dollar ain't shit, and it's tax to no end. Cause the rich Politicians look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge drowns. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, cause all this damn does is keep on kicking them down lord it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me people like you wish i could just wake up and it not be true but it is the passion in his voice has me a little choked up yeah these rich men know you do and then i don't think you know but i know that you do because your dollar ain't shit and it's tax to no hen calls the rich men north of rich men Been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. Well, shit. Maybe they're getting mad because there's a shit ton of conviction behind that. Oh, I see why they're mad. I get why there's so much controversy. Uh, because this man spoke total truth, and they're not happy about it. I'm not going to split hairs and say 
it's right or left. It's both. I think this man knows. He has been through a lot of shit. Um, There's a lot to digest in those lyrics. A lot. Uh, One that really stuck out to me was how we don't take care of the people who fight for our country. And that is fucking brutal, but so true. Um, I I grew up in a military home. Uh, my stepdad was in the army. Uh, I hate the guy. Absolutely hate him. But it doesn't take away from the fact that he did three tours in Iraq. Uh, and I have nothing but respect for him for everything he did with that. And... I'm going to get emotional here. Um, I watched him go through a lot of hard stuff. And there was no one there to help him. Um, we don't take care of the people that matter. No, it's just lining the pockets of people that don't need their pockets lined more. And there are just so many people suffering because of that. There's no reason that anybody should have be having to work themselves to the ground just to provide for their family, to take care of their mental health. Like, this is a really personal topic. It's one we talk about often, honestly, between the two of us. Um, we don't really talk about it to other people. But uh, I, I feel everything he said here was just on the nail like hitting the nail on the head um the bullshit pay getting taxed he's not wrong you you go out there and you grind and you grind and you grind and you barely have enough money um you're living paycheck to paycheck because of how much they tax you and barely spending time with your family and taking care of yourself and the answer to that whenever you say I don't have enough money is you're told by people in society, government officials, okay, get another job. Work harder. Yeah. And it's, it's not, it's not good for everyone's mental health. It's putting us in the ground. It's, we've got a deteriorating mental state in this entire country that no one's focused on, uh, more so just shoving pills in their face and saying, here, take this and playing a little, you know, game of, you're a guinea pig. We're going to see how this goes for you. Uh, man. Um, I'm going to are the lyrics here? They are not. I know you had said that he says he doesn't have a good voice, and I strongly disagree. I thought, oh. I just, I totally heard his passion and his soul in this, and... That's what makes good music to me. So I think he did an amazing job. Plus, what is that instrument? That was a guitar. That was a guitar? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It was great. It was just an older style. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. It had a lot of meaning behind it. You could feel it in his voice. Uh, Man. So mainstream news is upset over this song. Uh and they're calling it controversial and right wing. I didn't see anything right wing about it. I'm not right. I'm not left. I think for myself, uh, I don't. I don't consider myself part of any political party. This this man called everyone out, and they're not happy about it. I have since found out since this dropped. I did a little research behind him, and as I read something to her, he said an about me, and he's been through a lot. And he was just voicing his frustrations and, uh, you know, trying to help his own mental health. I also feel like our country has been severely divided for a long time. I don't feel like we have cared about each other since 2001. I'm just going to say it. Since the World Trade Centers were taken out, 
like the the following year to two years after that, we cared about each other. And now we care more about our social media and the things we post on our Facebook page. And it's... And the way people perceive us. Right, right. And we're arguing with each other over political things that we don't need to argue with each other about. We can have healthy conversations with each other, but arguing gets you nowhere. Arguing is giving them exactly what they want. They want you to be divided. They want you to be split. Yes. They want you to think like them. They don't want you to be united. So that's why they're afraid. That's why they're scared is because this man came out and said everything that I'm sure millions of us in this country have thought about. And I commend him for it. I also commend him for not taking any sort of musical uh contract there have been labels that have reached out to him and he's turned down like he said an eight million dollar deal and i think that's a good thing because i feel if he turned down an eight million dollar deal uh then he gets to continue saying what he wants to say because once he signs with the label you have that fear of being washed down and not being able to say what you're wanting to say yeah what watered down for sure they will not let you They wouldn't let you say all of that if you were in a label. It was beautiful. It was. It was the old country style that I love. Um, And I'll listen to that again. I'll probably cry the next time I listen to it. I had to fight back some tears during that. Uh, I could not hold them back. There's still some some things I I wish I could think to talk on with that. Because there was a lot. So much there. I just feel we all need to help each other, look out for each other, stop making it about politics. Stop worrying about, you know. Make it about people. Yeah, man. It's about each other. We need to we need that united feeling again. But I feel the internet has taken that away. And yes, the government wants to know. Well, they don't want to know. They know what you're looking at. What do you think Google's for? What do you think Alexa's for? They're they're in corporate America. Corporate America is in it with the government. It's the bottom line. I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but you sit there and you talk about something, you know, we'll have a conversation and then I'll hop on my phone to look at something sports news related and get hit with an ad about exactly what we were talking about an hour before. Mm -hmm. That's how much they know. They know everything about you. They even know how much you supposed to, how much you made. Here's the biggest fucking problem. Let's get into the IRS side of things. They fuck you every which way. Mm. And then... Like, they they know how much they owe you. They know how much they owe you. They know how much you made, yet they want you to fucking take care of all the work. And they want you to spend money to find out how much it is you made, even though they have all that information. Mm -hmm. And if you get it wrong when you turn in your test, they're going to let you know that you got it wrong. And sometimes if you got it too wrong, they penalize you. It's not just a, a slap on the wrist. It's like, oh, this can be a bad thing. Your country... Like, I, I love our country, and I feel our country has really strayed away from what it, it was here for. I feel like we we escaped, you know, Europe and England to get away from the hierarchy and stuff. But it's Fell becoming right into the trap. that with yeah. our government. Um, it was a beautiful song, though, well-crafted. I loved the dog laying there the entire time. Um, whew, I hope he doesn't stop. I hope he continues to just let it go and air his frustrations for I want all more. of us. And I thank him for doing this. Um, yeah. Thank you, Sean, for this request, man. Thank you, Sean. Mm. Thank you to everyone that stuck around this long. Right. <laughs> and we'll see you back here next time. Bye. Good. <laughs>